Everything up to this point goes in a typical room, whether it's a renovation or new build prototype, with the exception of the TV wardrobe unit. What makes this unit unique is that it fits in the indentation of the wall and offers an integral closet feature. Like the short TV panel, it requires careful attention to detail involving the TV mount, the bracing, and the electrical location, so pay close attention as we demonstrate the installation. The TV wardrobe hardware includes six number 10 by 3 inch flathead screws, two number 8 by 1 and a quarter inch flathead screws, 16 number 8 by 3 quarter inch pan head screws, and six vinyl dots. As a side note, we'll also be using a rubber hammer during the assembly process. When finished, we want the top edge of the TV panel to sit 84 inches off the floor. So the first thing we do is locate the hangrail and pre-drill your holes. Then level the hangrail with the bevel edge up at the appropriate height. We attach it using our number 10 by 3 inch flathead screws through the proper wall blocking. Remember to allow room for outlet boxes and wiring. Your TV mount hardware should be installed at this time before you move to the next step. Next, we attach the spine panels to the TV panel center back. To do this, we line up the pocket clips in the spine to the shoulder screws on the TV panel. Then, using our rubber hammer, we knock the spine bottom toward the panel until the clips are seated. The spine should move about three quarters of an inch. Okay, we're ready to attach the lower box unit in the same fashion. We line up the pocket clips in the shoulder screws and knock upwards until properly seated. This time, we secure the lower box unit, attaching the screws through the bottom pockets. Now, it's time to slide the remote box into the spine, making sure to center it in the opening. Using our remaining two pocket screws, we secure the remote box. The final step in preparing the face of the TV wardrobe unit is to mount a strip light at the top of the back side of the face panel, not included with furniture. So far, so good. This next step requires two people to lift the TV unit onto the wall cleat. As the spine is lowered onto the cleat, each person must insert one end of a closet rod into the cleat and the other end into the TV panel back using the pre-drilled holes provided. Now we can secure the unit to the wall. We do this using two number 10 by 3 inch flathead screws attached through the upper inside back of the lower box unit. With the unit secure, we can now move to the shelves. We attach the two top shelves by lining up the pocket clips with the shoulder screws on the upper back of the TV panel while resting the opposite side of the shelf on top of the wall cleat. Making sure the banded edge is facing out, we knock the shelves into place with the rubber hammer. To secure each shelf, we use a number eight by one and a quarter inch flathead screw attached to the shelf back center edge. We cover each screw with a vinyl dot. Now, we're ready to attach the rear TV cover panels. Using our pan head screws, we attach a cover panel on each side of the spines to the back of the TV panel. The final step is to install the TV trim ring, but we do this when the TV is mounted onto the TV mount hardware and pushed back into the opening. And that completes our TV wardrobe combo installation.